way back for Beresford. Alonso's gone for goal. Is it going in? Now this is hard to believe, but the following five football bets accumulated a total profit of £1,730,100. You just couldn't make some of them up. Starting with a tiny 30p bet that returned a massive £500,000 payday. It was placed by a roofer in Staffordshire called Mick Gibbs when he decided to place a football accumulator of 15 different legs. The final leg of this mega bet coming down to the Champions League match between Bayern Munich and Valencia. Its total odds were a staggering in 1,666,666 ,666 to one on 1 in total with just a 30p stake. To put that into context, there's more chance of getting struck by lightning four times than that bet actually coming in. The second bet is even more surprising though because Adrian Hayward supposedly had a dream that Alonso would score from his own half in a third round of the FA Cup in 2006. He was so invested in this dream that he decided to put down a 200 pound stake on this special bet from Paddy Power at a price of 125 to one. And then this happened. Alonso's gone for goal. Is it going in? The result being that he bagged himself a total of £25,000 just for that one bet. Paddy Power were reported to have said that when he placed the bet, we thought it was the easiest £200 that we had ever made, giving it a total price of just a 0.8% chance of happening. Now the third bet is quite astounding, winning over £100,000. When Brian Matthews used Betfred's Goals Galore coupon, you may have seen covered previously how you can beat that on this channel, we'll leave a link in the end screen, where he selected 15 different teams that he thought would score that weekend, giving him a total return price of 7,500 to one. And of course, all 15 teams obliged. The total chance of that actually happening is 0.013%, which inevitably transformed Brian's 15 pound stake into a total return of 112,500 pounds. What a win. But the fourth bet is where things really heat up because Damien Sheik placed a bet as he was getting on the plane to go on holiday with his family in 2016. It was a last minute, spur of the moment decision on Euro 2016, where he won a total of one million pounds. He predicted the Portuguese striker Edda would be the first person to score in the 84th minute of their first game. Now the goal didn't happen at the 84th minute, it actually happened at the 109th minute of extra time. Although being the closest bet and the only person to have made this selection, he won a whopping one million pounds. But to add to the story, he didn't realise he had won because he was on holiday abroad sunning himself beside the pool. Bet Victor launched their missing million millionaire campaign on social media and eventually a friend called him whilst he was sat beside the pool to tell him that he had won one million pounds. Can you imagine being in that position? You just wouldn't believe the phone call would you? Now Premier League fans will remember the sequence of events that led up to our fifth crazy football bet that actually came off and it wasn't just one person that backed this bet but two people backed this bet that had just a 0.019% chance of happening. Because if we wind back to the 15-16 season, it was full of drama and shock when the two lucky punters that backed Leicester to win the Premier League at 5,000 to one found themselves in a rather unique position with several matches yet to play out. The first punter, Lee Herbert, had placed a five pound bet at the odds of 5,000 to one, meaning that he was able to cash out three pounds of that five pound stake for a total of 5,600 pound return, letting the two pound run, which eventually Eventually added another £15,000, which was a cracking win. Although punter number two maybe made a slightly worse decision. You see, they'd backed Leicester to win the league for £50 at those same odds, cashing out for £72,000 back in March. A decision that might have seemed wise at the time, although if they'd let the bet run in full, they would have pocketed £250,000. If only they'd seen this about three crazy cash outs that ripped off the person taking it, they might have pocketed some extra cash. Check it out, make sure that you don't get stung yourself. I'll see you next time.